வெல்கம் டு அவர் பாமா டாபிக்ஸ் சேனல் அவர் டாபிக் ஆஃப் டிஸ்கஷன் இஸ் மைக்ரோ அரே டெக்னிக் இட் இஸ் அ இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டெக்னிக் விச் இஸ் வைட்லி யூஸ்ட் இன் செல் பயாலஜி அண்ட் மாலிகுலர் ஃபார்மகாலஜி டிஎன்ஏ மைக்ரோ அரே டெக்னாலஜி அதர்வைஸ் கால்டு எஸ் டிஎன்ஏ சிப்ஸ் ஆர் பயோ சிப்ஸ் இட் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ்ட் பை பேட்ரிக் ப்ரவுன் அண்ட் இஸ் கொலீக்ஸ் அட் ஸ்டான்ஃபோர்ட் யூனிவர்சிட்டி இன் நைன்டீன் it is a high throughput and uh, versatile technology used for uh, parallel gene expression analysis for thousands of genes it is more advanced and uh, than the conventional uh, techniques like uh, southern or northern blotic or uh, the rt pcr where it uses uh, different probes to identify the dna in a given sample so let us see the differences between uh, southern blotting and uh, microarray technique so in southern blotting a single probe is used to search the target dna the target dna is immobilized on a membrane only a limited number of genes and samples may be analyzed at a time and hybridization is performed on membranes like a nitrocellulose in case of southern blotting in case of microarray a large number of different probes are used to identify the specific dna the probes are fixed to the slide or the chip it is a high throughput screening method and it may be analyzing a large number of genes at a time hybridization is performed on slides or chips uh, in human genome project uh, the different uh, species and different genes have been identified with the help of microarray technique let us take e coli the genome size is uh, 4.5 million megabytes and the number of genes are uh, 4500 in case of uh, saccharomyces cerevisiae the genome size was uh, 16 mb and uh, the number of genes are approximately 6200 and in case of uh, c elegans the genome size is 100 mb and the number of genes are around uh, 19200 in case of uh, drosophila melanogaster the genome size is uh, 130 mb and the number of genes are 13900 in case of mus musculus which is having identical uh, with respect to many studies uh, related to humans the genome size is uh, 3000 mb and approximately there are around uh, 20000 to 30000 genes the human genes contain around approximately 30000 genes and these uh, genes have been identified their expressions have been studied with these genomic tools let us see the steps involved in the microarray technique so first the sample is prepared and it is labeled uh, the mrna is taken it is converted to cdna by reverse transcriptase and it is labeled with a fluorescent dye the next is hybridization addition of the target dna over the slip uh, chip or the slide binding of the target dna with a probe which is in the complementary fashion the next is washing and removal of the unbound target dna and next is image acquisition and uh, data analysis detection of the bound uh, target dna by adding appropriate substrates appearance of fluorescence or color or light may be the end point so these are the steps in uh, microarray technique let us see this uh, microarray technique uh, this is the microrna from uh, two group of cells and uh, they are converted to complementary dna with the help of a reverse transcriptase and it is fluorescent labeled and it is hybridized on the micro uh, array plates and the fluorescence is detected uh, based on the uh, the probes the fluorescence is detected so let us take this case it's a normal cell and a cancerous cells and two type of rnas and uh, cdna is uh, complementary dna is uh, with the help of reverse transcriptase complementary dna is uh, produced and the the, the normal uh, rna the cdna is uh, labeled with green fluorescence and the cancerous uh, cell uh, dna is uh, labeled with red fluorescence and it is hybridized on the microarray plate and you get the fluorescence like this so uh, the genes related to cancer or the genes related to normal cells and genes which are common in both the cells and genes which express equally in the both the cells you get a picture like this in the detection point this a technique is called microarray technique 
let us take another example this is a microarray plate with dna probes so it appears like this it will have uh, different different probes and uh, the test sample is uh, labeled uh, fluor with a fluorescence dye and uh, complementary base uh, pairing happens and fluorescence is detected so this technique is a simpler form of microarray technique so let us see this so this is a microarray chip and uh, the spots containing a single dna molecule are the probes this is a part of the probe uh, that is uh, the dna strands the dna or cdna hybridization of the test sample is uh, taken it is poured into the microarray plate and the base pairing happens uh, complementary base pairing happens so the, you will get uh, cdna from the chip and cdna from the treated cells and the untreated cells so you get a fluorescence which is uh, detected in the monitor so the you can get uh, two type of results because uh, the cells are hybridized and the genes related to cancer genes related to normal function and the genes equal in both these cells that could be identified so it is very useful for uh, tumor profiling so this is a cancerous cell it's uh, cdna this is a normal cell it's DNA, it's complementary dna both are hybridized in a microarray dna uh, plate having uh, the probes so hybridization happens and you can detect the fluorescence so it will appear like this the pattern appears like this so the cancer uh, free patients uh, profile appears like this so it's an example and the cancer patients profile differs so that could be studied with the microarray technique so the normal cells the cancerous cells uh, so which cells are uh, common the red indicates uh, the genes related to cancer and green indicates the genes related to normal function and black indicates the genes related uh, which are both expressed in both the type of cells so this is a very useful technique in tumor profiling let us see what is a protein microarray a protein microarray is a high throughput technology that allows researchers to study the interactions between proteins and other molecules on a large scale it's a powerful tool used in proteomics research to analyze the protein protein interactions protein small molecular interactions and antibody antigen interactions the basic principle of protein microarray uh, is uh, very similar to that of uh, DNA microarray or the gene chips. But instead of immobilizing the DNA fragments on a solid support, it immobilizes specific proteins in the array format. The ar array technology can uh, contain thousands of different proteins, each spotted onto a solid surface such as a glass slide or membrane. Each spot represents the different protein and the array can be custom designed to include specific proteins of the interest. The, so let us see the process uh, for creating the protein microarray. So pro, uh, first the protein has to be selected. Uh, the proteins which are to be studied are selected based on the research question or the biological system being investigated. These proteins uh, can be sourced from various organisms including humans, animals, plants or microbes. Protein expression and purification is the next step. The selected proteins are produced using recombinant DNA technology or extracted from natural sources. The proteins are then purified to ensure their quality and specificity. Then the proteins are spotted. The purified proteins are spotted onto solid surface in an ordered array using robotic printers or other high precision spotting techniques. Each spot usually contains a different protein. The next step is blocking. The array surface is treated to block any non-specific binding sites, reducing the background noise and ensuring specific interactions between the immobilized proteins and the test samples. Sample incubation. The protein microarray is exposed to various biological samples such as cell lysates, serum or purified proteins. If studying the protein-protein interactions, two different protein samples can be labeled with a different uh, fluorescence tagging or fluorophores and mixed together to identify the interactions between them similar to that which we have seen in the DNA microarray.
So then it is detected, the interactions between the immobilized proteins and the sample molecules are detected and quantified. Various detection methods can be used uh, such as fluorescence, chemiluminescence or mass spectrometry. In summary, the DNA microarrays play a crucial role in target discovery and validation by providing comprehensive and high throughput analysis of uh, gene expression, functional genomics and pathway analysis. Protein microarrays offer a powerful and versatile platform for target discovery and validation in various research areas. They provide a comprehensive view of protein interactions, protein functions, disease related changes in the protein profiles and helps researchers to identify potential targets for drug development and gain insights into the disease mechanisms. This wealth of information helps researchers identify the potential targets and understand their roles in various diseases and biological processes. And these two technologies ultimately contribute to the development of novel therapies and precision medicine approaches. So let us see the applications of microarray technology. So the different type of flowers or different types of grapes are all related to the cDNA or the complementary DNA or the expression of the mRNA a normal cell and a sickle cell RBC. So it is useful for uh, cell specific uh, gene expression. It is used to, to detect the gene regulation. It is useful in elucidation of metabolic pathways. It is useful in uh, tumor profiling. You can identify the genetic variations uh, like insertion, deletion, microbial strain identification. Uh, DNA and uh, protein binding could be studied with the help of microarray technology and these are the few applications of microarray technology. So it's a very short video related to microarray technology. If you like this video kindly press the like button. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Thank you.